Hello and welcome back to the top 100 maps of all time with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. And today we are going Ultra Realism. Detailing levels on this map are through the roof. It's an absolute beauty. If you're looking to do a realistic and a high detail build, this is a map to start on. It's stunning. Right, okay, first of all, I'm going to get a little disclaimer out of the way. Occasionally, we're going to get little glitches with loading up some of these slightly older maps. It's not old, it's definitely not old, but um, anything that predates any of them, the newest, most modern of the map, uh, mods, sometimes we're going to get slight breaks. There's a slight different reason for issues with this map. Um, I'm not sure how many issues there are going to be. I've spotted one, um, which I'll show you when we get down there. But um, there may be others. And that is, at the time of trying to load up the map to do the review, Steam was basically pretty much down. Well, in certainly in the UK. Uh, so yes, I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and there was nothing. I did all the tricks. I restarted the... Um, Restarted the client, re uh, reconnected my internet connection. I did all the tricks, um, made no difference. Um, Steam just wasn't playing. So um, it's uh, at first glance, at first glance, uh, having loaded up the map, it looks good enough to do a, um, a quick nostalgic flyover. There might be a few little glitches here and there which are down to mod setups and of course uh, Steam not having being live at the time that I tried to, to load things up. So anyway, just getting that out of the way first and early. So who is at number 28 on the top 100 maps of all time list as voted by you? It's Rossi, or possibly Rosie, R-O-S-I, Rossi, by ILCC1983. Now ILCC has just made some crackers absolute crackers in fact the standard of work from LCC has been absolutely crackers it's been so good um, this one this one was I think the very first one that I saw of their work that just had my jaw hitting the floor oh just mind-blowing you'll see Anyway, um, it's a mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. There are 69 FNAFNA items off of the workshop to subscribe to, or there or thereabouts, because modern variants and switching in and out and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, uh, it does use procedural objects. You will need procedural objects and, of course, your loading screen settings to allow for all items. Um, we're using the Revy 4K theme, the Relight... What's that? Uh, so, so it's real neutral, real light, colourless. Trying to read my own handwriting here and failing. But yeah, it's a real neutral, real light, colourless LUT. Uh, the map was uploaded to the workshop in May of 2021. It currently has a small matter of 14,355 subscribers. 1,182 have marked this as a favourite. It not surprisingly has a five star rating on Steam from 351 votes. And I reviewed this in episode 1230 of what map where I gave it five stars for aesthetics, five stars for detail, and four stars for gameplay potential. Right, so, um, well, um, I think last time round we started down here. I think we'll do the same again here. Well, I might just do a full loop, I reckon, today. A full loop. Uh, maybe, it'll come, maybe we'll come across this bridge and then cut through the mountains. I think it might be this exact same route I took last time, possibly. But yes, um, just settle down because this, this is just going to catch your breath. And again, even with any glitches, it will still catch your breath. I mean, just, just this first view. I mean, that first view, we're right on the edge of the map. It's got no right to be this good. All right, and we'll carry along and on. So, ah, it's just seeing a little bit. So there's one of my little glitches there. You can see we've got some hovering trees. Um, yeah, there's there's going to be a few minor. And it's, it's kind of sad because in terms of the standards on this map, we are talking standards of the highest echelon. I mean, five stars for aesthetics and five star for details. Getting that double combo, that is rare indeed. And on a highly detailed map with loads and loads and loads of assets, if I can get the camera a little bit closer to this, 
there we go minutes two uh, look at this this, this is a um, there we are set on the camera there so um, yeah um, how far it is to these locations it's I thought that was um, that changed its image did it not as we or was that just a, a, a lot LOD I'm not sure oh there we go look it's changed there you go respect your speed limits <laughs> oh what a great great asset anyway what can I say this is um, it's it's truly remarkable work we'll just over we, we won't we won't hype on any issues if I see any issues I may mention them and, and apologize to each and every time for any that show up but um, yeah I, I just if, if I leave this any longer there won't be a review today at all or a return at all or we'll just have to take it on the chin and uh, the um, terrain work on this map that everything on this map is insane I don't remember why I didn't give it the fifth star for gameplay. It may have been that I felt that possibly it was a little bit over assets driven or maybe I would have liked a little bit more buildable space or maybe I would have liked more buildable space in the start square area. I'm not sure what held me back from giving the all star status, uh, but um, I mean, if you compare this to the all star maps from when um, when the show started, this is way above those, right? And we just see if we can get. Was that a lot issue with the? You know what? That might have been a lot issue with the trees on the on the mountain there that were just that were hovering. Uh, if I pull back the camera a little bit further, there we go. So yes, that's um, that that's just that's just a rendering issue. It's not even a map issue. It's a rendering issue. Goodness me! Get over it, Bon Bon. <laughs> get over the mountain bonbon right so we over the mountain the bonbon went over the mountain to see what he could see right so um our first intersection and these are just all delicious with the rail as well i'm not going to spend much time looking at the rail today but trust me when i say the rail is as good as you would want it to be as well um, on a mountainous map like this which basically does um just you know it's it, it doesn't do flat does it this rail line is as on point as you can ever hope it to be still got the wires oh, it's just ball there but never mind uh and then uh we got viaducts and again we have plenty of these um these signs procedural object signs beautiful viaducts going across the crossing there bridge pillars and exactly the locations i would want them as well the whole map is totally on point totally on point uh, let's go for a little um, slightly higher level whiz over here because yeah you just take in the um taking the terrain taking the tree detailing and just look at the tree detailing Look at the mix of the trees. Look at the shapes of the trees. Look at the shapes of the trees. Okay, look at how they've been used to uh, break up and spice up the environment. Uh, just quality. Quality, quality, quality. Uh, this is one of those maps. If I was doing a top 10 detail maps of all time, and uh, if I was doing the top 10 aesthetic maps of all time, I might struggle to decide whether which what which category to put this into but this would be in there it's got to be in there surely it has to be in there i mean we, we could talk about uh, we could talk about revy <laughs> we, we, we could talk about i mean we could talk about loads of loads of amazing maps but yeah this one i say this is ill cc's first map that literally had my jaw dragging along the floor thinking how on earth is this possible how on earth is this level of work possible? And uh, it's just dedication, isn't it? Dedication and skill levels, right? Anyway, uh, next intersection here, which is stretched out over a little bit of a way here, starts here, finishes all the way up there. We've got this loop around going on here as well. Totally believable. And if I remember rightly, we have signs for the turnoffs. Or have we replaced the signs for the turnoffs? Oh no, we have still got here we go. Signs for the turnoffs. 
So this is your A1, your A4 with the N1 on the left there. And then we even have the small signposts just over here. Get the camera down there again, Bon Bon. There we go. Bon Bon Island off to the left. <laughs> right even opposite opposite of left and then rossi nord on the left i mean come on <laughs> oh man alive uh, i'm seeing a little bit of terrain ziggy zaggy going on here or is that just my imagination do you know what i think that's not actually shark's teeth that has been worked just subtly just subtly worked Anyway, the road then cuts through the mountains. Again, beautifully done cutting work going on here. Just follows an appropriate route. That is so well done. And then if we hit the, this is the bridge. I think we will come back and go over this bridge in a second, but I wanna check out those, those sides. I don't remember what the other turn off was as we head up to the other outside connection over here, I wanna check out the signs over this way because I just don't remember. I don't remember. Here we are. Right, um, this one, oh, it's also Bonbon Island. It's a different route to Bonbon Island. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, right, uh, I'll take that. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back. This, this highway, if we followed it on it'll take us back down the other side of the map down to the start square area but I think it'd be a lot more fun to head over the middle of the map and cut through the island why not why not indeed uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. big old viaduct oh everybody loves a big old viaduct <laughs> oh, so, such a We've been blessed. See, Skylines 2, Asset Ears have given us such amazing work. Uh, just, I mean, where would you start, eh? Where would you start? You look at some of the, I mean, I've I've made a couple of bodged assets. Oh, yeah. Anybody remember my railway station? Yeah. <laughs> Do check out my workshop. Um, oh, you've got a little bit of, um, again, some... Some drawing problems here as we're getting closer. Um, some of these are popping out, but that's, again, that is probably mod setups. Never mind. But yes, my way away station. If you just, <laughs> please do. <laughs> please go and vote it down. Go on, I dare you. <laughs> oh man. It's just, it's a childhood joke that I turned into an asset. All right. Oh, that's, that's all I can say. That's all I could say. Lovely switchbacks. Up into the hills, past the wind farm, down through, down past the lake, this little lake, including water source. There we are. Lovely. Nice fresh water going on there. And then this leads down to this parklow course it's going to be beautiful and the way that it fits into the environment as well it just works so well there and then as we head down into have we got some um, have we got turn off signs here there we are so turn right here for Rossi and Rossi North lovely and anyway yes yeah, so we head down off of this intersection into the middle of uh, Rossi. This is where you'd be building your town, your beautifully detailed town. You'll see that the road leads down to a missing roundabout. And this, this is where I think we had a problem with the steam workshop uh, because um, absolutely certain that I've clicked subscribe for this um and it's, it's it's a missing asset isn't it that's what that is so yes um that that roundabout does exist so check out the original review in the description uh if you want to see what it looks like with the roundabouts but i think you can probably i think it's the only thing i spotted that was definitely missing as opposed to like possibly slightly glitching uh we've got some really lovely beaches really lovely beaches um, lovely tree work, lovely terrain, great, amazing, well, not, not great, not great, amazing 
networking. We've got some lovely little rivers. There's a little river coming down the side. You've got to check out the rivers. Always go and have a little look at the rivers. You know how much I like a good river. Uh, so we'll um, bring the camera up this way. There we go. A little bit of um, a little waterfall going on here. Very beautifully done. Very tidy. And that heads all the way up. Right off the edge of the map in the corner there. That's fine. That's okay. I have no issues with that. So yes, apparently Bonbon Island is is off that way somewhere. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> uh, I thought my map was insanely detailed. But nope. <laughs> Just nope. It will seem to see has shown me up with these sort of levels of standards. Oh dear. I mean Bonbon Pichu. That was, that was uh, some of my finest work. I had to actually do some asset editing to make the map work as well. Uh, anyway, over here, we've got a little bit of... Is this part of the map that hasn't loaded over here, maybe? Is it? I think there's probably a little part of the map that's not loaded. Listen, let's just not look at that. Okay, we, we, we're we aware there might be minor issues across all of the reviews, um, given everything. But there we go. I'm just going to settle the camera down here. It's maybe not the best view of Rossi, but um, it's still a good view of Rossi. Shows us where we can be doing most of our build, which uh, as you can see, good cleared area. Very nice shape. Um, lots of insane detailing, um, especially I think Sunset Harbour. If you've got Sunset Harbour, this would be a great one for a fishing industry map. Looks stunning. So there we go, uh, our 28th best map of all time as voted by you, the first of multiple maps that had 93%. This had the lowest score on Countback, but 93%, uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> How close to perfection do you want? Rossi, LCC 1983. And that will basically do for that. We'll be doing the 27th best map of all time tomorrow. So do join me for that one. Uh, again, I promise you all of these, I mean, anything over 90% is just insane. These are all the best map of all time, right? All of them. And um, before we go, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to all the Bonbon Buddies on Patreon and YouTube membership for supporting the channel. You guys really are the very, very best. And I love you very, very much. And I'll see all of you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.